Welcome to She's Local TV. I'm Jem Maceda, where we connect you with relatable, accessible inspiration because we think local women are inspiring. Join us as we engage locally, inspire at home with She's Local. When I look at somebody's roof and I'm driving by, I see a home, I see a family room where memories are made, I see a kitchen where holiday parties are hosted, I see paintings on the wall where they might have collected from all their travels, and that's what roofing means to me. It means that I protect all these precious things that matter to this homeowner, and we are that finishing touch. We are the roofers, and, and what we do every single day makes sure that your home and the memories in it are protected. When I came to the United States, I felt lost. I felt like I didn't belong. I didn't understand the language. I didn't understand everything around me. It wasn't my people, it wasn't my heritage, it was my culture, but my mom told me, Greta, we have to do this. We left something behind because it, things just got so bad and we have to fight now. This is what we're gonna, and I will never forget this day because we were sitting in an apartment that had nothing in it. We only had one mattress. And we were, me and my mom and my dad on the floor. And my mom said, we have to fight. We have to adapt. We have to learn the language. We have to become just like those people if we want to survive. And I faced those fears and I said, I have to do this. Even though I don't understand what they're saying, I have to learn. Because my mom has told me that this is it for us now. This is the new path that we must embark on. And that's exactly what we did. Is roofing something that you always wanted to do when you grew up? Roofing was something I never knew existed when I was <laughs> growing up. I honestly um, lived in Worcester, Massachusetts, and I drove to my parents' house every day after college, and I never looked at the roof. I just looked right at the door, <laughs> and then I walked in. When we started Golden Group, my role was everything but a CEO. Uh, I was a cleaner, I was a driver, I was a four-woman. Uh, I'm not a foreman, <laughs> although people like to call me that sometimes. I was a construction supervisor. I was a shingle, asphalt shingle helper. I was everything but a CEO because um, in order to get Golden Group off the ground, we realized that we didn't have the marketing dollars to go direct to consumer. We didn't even have an image to go to direct to consumer. We didn't have the knowledge to go direct to consumer. How do we learn about an industry that we know nothing about, but we have passion for? That's when some of the local manufacturing houses that we still have partnerships with today were the biggest mentors. We started out with three employees who had absolutely no trust in us and uh, sort of took a leap of faith. And prepayment was uh, you know, a deal sealer on their end, nothing to lose. We wanted to find a way to empower them so they saw not only what the future was, but the passion in us. Because at that time, we might have not had all the knowledge that we had today, but from day one to today, we never, I could never say that we didn't have the passion. The passion was always there. It was those moments and realizing that we had to, we had to invest in every member of the team that I think gave Golden Group that 100 mile an hour speed to get where it is today. As we grow, as our team grows, we're constantly seeing a bigger picture of what we can contribute, not only to roofing, but the industry, um, not only to every single client, but the community. That's what's driving Golden Group, and that's why we're seeing this, you know, this following of the brand, is because we're trying to do things differently. We're seeing the bigger picture, and we're finally starting to understand what we mean and what purpose we serve. And we're seeing ourselves as not just a roofer, but so much more. For that, we thank the community that continues to support us in every single stride. Thank you for being an inspiration today. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.